Hey guys, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is all about keeping the skin fresh and natural and of course inspired by the beautiful model Giselle. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, then please keep on watching. The best way for you to get the most out of your makeup is to help keep your skin nice and healthy, which is why I usually start my tutorials out with skincare. I'm using my Fresh FreshFX Fava Vivid Powered Contour Cleansing System. This cleansing system also comes with a shine minimizing cleanser. I'm using a small amount of cleanser and spreading this evenly across my face. I'm using the power brush to give my skin a deeper clean and also a mini massage. The bristles are super soft and are made out of rubber. And instead of rotating, the brush head vibrates. The vibrations help massage the skin and stimulate blood flow to the surface, making the skin look plump and fresh. It's very important that you apply a moisturizer straight after. This keeps the skin hydrated and plump. Not to prime is a crime, and yep, I'm sure you've all heard that. So I'm using my Porefessional Primer to smooth the surface of my skin. Giselle typically doesn't wear a lot of base makeup and keeps her skin looking light and fresh. I've decided to use my Mary Kay CC Cream, but you can also opt for Max Face and Body or a Garnier BB Cream. Because this product is a skincare hybrid, I'm dotting this around my face like I dot my moisturizer on my skin. The best way that you can blend this product out is using the warmth of your fingers. I'm massaging the CC cream into my skin until there's no streaky lines left. The shade that I'm using at the moment is very light to light. I like to call the finish of this product your skin but better because it looks like a second layer of skin. Let the CC cream settle into your skin before layering any other products. Once your first layer of CC cream has settled into the skin, move on to applying your second layer. I'm using a darker shade of the CC cream to give my skin a sun-kissed look. I'm applying this to the high points of my face using a brush. I'm also using this darker shade of CC cream to give my face some shape. I've used this on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose and also on my chin but I've also used it as a contour as well. Don't forget to take this product down the center of your neck as well. So you guys probably saw that I have a few, okay, a lot of blemishes that I need to cover. That's okay, we can cover it. I'm going to be using my Pro Concealer Palette by MAC and I'm just going to be mixing two of the concealer shades together. Um, I was going to blend them all out at first, but I think I'm just going to let the concealer oxidize on my skin and blend them out a little bit later after I've done my eyes. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Base Shadow Brush to apply my Unveiled Eyeshadow Base by Sigma Beauty. Keep this color limited to the mobile lid only. And after you've done that, it's time to soften the edges. I'm using a Real Techniques base shadow brush to just run over the eyeshadow and also soften the edges. For the crease, I'm also going to be using another shade of eyeshadow base by Sigma and this is Compose. I absolutely love this one and I've used it so many times in my previous tutorials. I'm using Windscreen Wiper Motions to take this through the crease and then using another synthetic blending brush, I'm just softening the edges of that eyeshadow. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the other end of the brush and using that same Composed eyeshadow base and this brush is the brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette. Run this close to the base of your lashes, leaving your inner corners bare. Now it's time to create Giselle's smoldering lash line. I'm using my Scout black eye pencil to draw a line across the lashes. This line doesn't have to be perfect because we are smudging it out. My favorite brush to use when blending out eyeliner is the Sigma E20 brush. You want the black to fade into the gold and that's how you know you've blended it out really well. All we need to do now is line close to the base of the lashes. I'm using that same eye pencil and an angled brush to push and wiggle the product in between my lashes. This is just going to define the eyes and make the lashes look even fuller. Repeat the lining and smudging process on the other eye and now we can move on to tight lining our eyes. I'm using this taupe eye pencil by Rimmel London and this is a waterproof kajal so it will work really well on the waterline. I'm using this on my waterline and also shutting my eyes so it can blend up onto the tight line as well. You can also line your eyes with a black or brown eye pencil but I find that this taupe colour works so well during the daytime. The mascara that I'm using for this tutorial is the Rimmel London Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil. This is one of their newer mascaras and I have been loving it recently. Because this is an everyday look, this step is obviously optional but I'm going to be placing a few individual lashes towards the outer portions of my eyes. These lashes are the Short Black Flared Lashes by Amazing Shine and I'm just using my Duo Adhesive which is white and dries clear to uh, stick them on. I am an honest fan of individual lashes. I think they're super comfortable, they look really natural and you know, they're easy to pop on once you get the hang of it. And I'm just popping down four individual lashes on each eye. 
After I stuck all my eyelashes down, I went back to blend out the concealer that was left on my blemishes and I have no idea what I did with that clip. So after I blended out my concealer that was on my face, I went back and dipped into my peach colored concealer to color correct underneath my eyes. For cheek color, I'm using my favorite cream blusher at the moment, which is Fancy Ray by MAC Cosmetics. And I absolutely love this color because not only does it give me a nice flush, it gives me a bronze look, a very healthy looking complexion that I'm also using to kind of drag up my temple and up my cheek as well. With whatever's left on this brush, I'm just going to blend everything out and I'm also going to take it on the top of my nose bridge as well to give that really healthy sun-kissed look. Now it's time to finally show our lips some love. I used my Einstein Lip Therapy Lip Balm to coat my lips and condition them. After that, I used a natural lip liner by Rimmel London to line my lips and then blend out using a brush. She does wear hardly anything on her lips, so I've kept it as natural as possible. All I'm doing now is setting the center of my face with my Makeup Store Wonder Powder in Sahara, and I'm using a large powder brush by Sigma. The last step to this look is to apply some dry oil to your skin and your hair. And when I'm applying it on my skin, I love to concentrate this product on my arms, my shoulders, my neck, and also onto my decollete. And I'm really working it into the skin and using a lot of product just so I can get that glow and shimmer. Time for the hair, I'm going to let it down and Giselle usually parts it to one side and it's tossed over to one side so I put a little bit of the dry oil in and tossed it around to get that messy, beachy, effortless look. And this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I love these types of effortless, natural, no makeup makeup looks with a little bit of colour on the eyes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave me a comment down below. If you'd like to see more videos from me, definitely click the video that you see here on the left. Here I show you how to get the most out of your eyelash curler. As for the image on the right, do you guys like the makeup look that I'm wearing? Because if you do, then I can definitely create this look for you. Uh, just request it down below. I put it up on my Instagram account a few weeks ago and you guys all liked it, so I thought I'd ask you guys on here as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you'll never miss a video from me again. Thank you so much for watching. Be happy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.